Hi, good morning, good afternoon, yes, good evening, depending on your time zone. Where with your connecting with me live this beautiful Saturday morning right here in Benin City, Edo State, Nigeria. First, I want to thank God Almighty for this privilege and this grace to see today. And um, also, I want to appreciate each and every one of you who take time to follow us on what we are actually doing on our space. Very quickly this morning, I'd like to discuss about a fundamental um, aspect in the building industry where I think most of us are taking for levity. When I mean we are taking for levity, I, we just overlook it and we underrate it and we're like, it doesn't mean anything. Let's just, let's, let's pay attention to the critical thing. But it will really interest you to know that this aspect we're thinking for levity uh, holds a very, very, or play a very vital role as we go across the building phase. And there's no other aspect than the block molding. Now, what exactly is a block? Or simply put, a brick. Uh, it might interest you to know that uh, before now, usually, whenever you want to uh, embark on a building project, the mindset is for you to um, look for uh, a block molding industry company where you can actually go and then buy the block. But it got to a point where uh, the standard of the block or the quality of the block produced by these industries uh, are now questionable. And the more reason why uh, people now begin to say, okay, fine, can we start molding our own block ourselves just to ensure that we have quality blocks for our building project? Also, um, people now say, okay, fine, if we buy this block, the cost of transporting this block from the industry to the site is also expensive. How about if we start molding our own block? And that was how clients molding their own block now begin to come into existence, like it begin to come into existence, which to a very large extent was quite cool. Why? Because if not for any other reason, but for one reason, to test the quality of the block. And then before you know, we started getting it right, but it got to a point where people now begin to compromise. So, for example, there is a certain number of blocks you are expected from a bag of cement. If you are molding a 6 inches block, you are molding a 5 inches block, you are molding a 9 inches block, you are molding a hollow block or a block that does not have holes. There are certain numbers of words of blocks expected because of the region which he, where in I am, um, the south south region, a state to be precise. Most people who are building within this uh, particular environment they use the non hollow block, and as such, it will interest you to know how many people are compromising. So, for example, you are molding a five inches block. Now, the five inches block, you have not, please note, not hollow block. You are molding a five inches block. You are supposed to get at least within 33 to 35 blocks from one bag of cement. Between 33 to 35 blocks from one bag. But it will interest you to know that some people go as far as stretching to 38 or even 40 for five inches block. And you are expecting the house to be solid. I'm going somewhere. And as we proceed in our discussion this morning, you will see where I'm going to. For some people who actually um, wants to mold six inches block, you're supposed to get at least a variation between 28 to 30. 28 to 30 blocks for one bag of cement for, five, for six inches block. But it will interest you to know that some people stretch as far as 33 to 35 then don't you think we are defeating the essence why we started molding blocks ourselves? Why? Because we said to ourselves that this industry 
they begin to reduce the quality of what we get from them. And this is why we should start molding our own block. So now you that you're now molding your own block, you are the one who is telling uh, the molder for six inches block to give you 35 blocks, for uh, five inches block to give you 40 blocks. Why? Because your engineer has told you you need 3,000 blocks. Your engineer has told you you need 6,000 blocks. But it has an effect. I have communicated with someone who, for six inches, he was told that he's going to get 40 blocks from, from one bag of cement. 40 blocks from one bag of cement. And I told him that if you mold such block, I cannot work with it. I rather do not work for you than to now become a recipient who will get the blame at the end of the day. Why? Because now that you have molded your block and it's not solid enough, this is the consequence. The consequence here is there's something called global warming, which I can also put as climate change. The climate is fast evolving. And it is changing beyond human control. And this is why you see that um, leaders across the world are glamouring that we should take our environment as serious as it can. For those persons living overseas, you can bear me witness how we have fire outbursts in the likes of Australia. How you have flood in the likes of America and other European nations. In Nigeria as we speak. The, the rate of downpour on a daily basis is beyond control. So you cannot even say uh, uh, this is dry season. There's no dry season, there's no rainy season. As we are speaking right now, as such, you that you are building, why not tell yourself the truth? Because of two blocks, because of three, because of five blocks. Because of five, five blocks. Now, you would now destroy the millions of naira you are investing on your property. This is why this morning I said to myself that I think I need to discuss a, about this topic. Why do you reduce the quality of the blocks that you are actually molding and you are defeating the essence? Why we said to ourselves, oh, let's not always get blocks from the industry because we can't trust their quality. Okay, we, because we can control this process, let us start molding our own block. This piece is for you. You live in diaspora and you're not in the country. And there are people who are molding your block for you. Please get experts to monitor that process for you. Please, whoever you have actually asked to help you, help you go and mold the block on your site, please, if it takes you to beg them to ensure that they maintain quality in that aspect. Please beg them. If it costs you to pay them the amount, any amount to help you supervise that process, please do. Because it has effect on the structure as they start building the structure proper. I want to believe this piece uh, in one way or the other. Uh, will guide your actions, will guide your thoughts as you embark on your journey to molding your blocks. Please note, if I may give, an, if I want to give an advice, I will tell you that for your five inches block, because of the rate of the downpour we are currently having, please, for your five inches block, please, 28, sorry, for your six inches block, rather, 28 to 30 blocks per bag. Of cement for your six inch for your five inches block please 30 to 32 or 33 as the case may be for your five inches block please and i have my reasons why i am begging you please and i hope that this piece in one way or the other will be of help to you thank you for following us thank you and my name is remain victor lisa and for those persons who desire to reach out, reach out to us, my number is 070 I'll over again, 070 Don't forget that I have ventured into the business of selling and buying properties. Houses, lands, name it all. I have properties in Lagos, I have properties in Benin, and I also have properties in Delta States. 
Thank you and God bless you.